Hey guys, Eric here from Epic, bringing you a brief live stream. This has to be one hour max, because I have a rehearsal later tonight. So, we gotta make this brief, but we're gonna make it epic. So, I've got the spirit box running in the background. Same setup I had at Post Town. It's got AM and FM. I've got the ion box running. I've got crystals scattered about. Different spots. So, yeah. So, that'll be going in the background. What I'm going to do first is go go over uh, one clip from the stream last night that really has has me, uh, it, it's really struck my attention, if you will. So I want to play that for you all and then read you a brief preview of the place I'm going tomorrow. So I'm going to read over some of the ghostly encounters there and then we'll do a brief spirit box session and then we'll close it out. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great night. Hope you're having a great time. All right, let's get started with this. I guess I'll have to turn this down. I'll have to turn this down for a second. Turn that down for a second to go over the evidence. What's up, Charmy? What's up, Paranormal Playground? Christy, Fred, Deidre, D. You guys are awesome. All right. So let's go over here. So what this is, I'm sure you all probably have heard or seen it, but it's the dog collar jingle. So I know I said it in the stream last night, but the dogs weren't here. Laramie picks up the girls and she has them for the night, every night around 10, 30, 11, sometimes later, depending. So the girls were already gone at this point. So there's no, there's no possible way the dog collar sound should happen, but there are a couple theories right now that we have one, maybe the puppy followed me from Post Town, or two, maybe it's my dog, Brow, who we lost back in December. So either way, he had the collar with the tags on it. So, But here, I'll play it for you all. Let me know if you hear it. It's right after I say, stay tuned. What's up, clowns? What's up, Lisa? So right after I say, stay tuned, you hear a dog collar jingle. Check it out. All right, I'm going to cut it there before some crazy shit starts happening, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of it. Stay tuned. Stay epic. Right stay there. It's really faint, but it's there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of it. Stay tuned. Stay epic. Right there. See you hear it? Being a part of it. Stay tuned. Stay epic. One See more time. Stay tuned. Stay epic. See you tomorrow. What's up, Bonnie? Guys, that's the sound of a dog collar of the tags like g like hitting each other. It's oh, I'm just I'm blown away by it. I'm blown away by it. The girls are here right now. Lucy and Lola are here right now. Laramie hasn't come and gotten them yet, so but they're going to be picked up soon that you'll probably hear barking and the door and whatnot. But what I'm going to do next, I'm going to turn on the spirit box real quick while I read you some of the encounters at the hotel I'll be staying at tomorrow. <laughs> Making some adjustments on the reverb there. What's up, Lori B? All right, guys, so I'm going to read you some of the encounters. And instead of just instead of just showing you the text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this video and play it while reading it, reading this to you, because I don't know how else to really do this. So the hotel I'm going to, it's always been known for its ghostly stories. The most famous ghost visitor is supposedly Jesse James. Another is the Lady in White, which a lot of places have a Lady in White. I'm sure you all have noticed that. But, so Lady in White's one of them. They always appear as apparitions. There's a lot of reports of full-bodied apparitions at this hotel. Other stories include orbs that you can see visually moving around the room in the middle of the night and flashes of light without any cameras or light source. There's also poltergeist activity at this hotel. A ton of things will move without any cause or reason. Forks, glasses, even dining room tables moving on their own without anyone touching them. Objects disappearing from the front desk and showing up later in the hallways where the rooms are. Furniture has been known to start jumping up and down without any reason. Now, some say they see shadows walk in and out of, 
out of uh, the rooms and out of the hallways. And the sounds that I heard the most are music, clocks chiming out during late night hours, doors opening and closing when no one else is in the building, and lots of footsteps all hours of day. There's knocking on the doors when no one's there, the piano plays by itself, and voices calling out of empty areas. There's one story in particular where two of the workers actually witnessed the same apparition at once, and they followed this apparition to the fire escape, and when they got there, the apparition looked at them, smiled and laughed, and disappeared in front of their eyes. Two people witnessed this. Two people witnessed this encounter, had the same story, they actually followed the apparition, and it laughed and disappeared right in front of them. A couple weeks later, she was watching a TV special on Jesse James, and when she saw Jesse James's face, she realized that that was the apparition that she had saw. So that's part of why they say Jesse James haunts this hotel. So a lot of people report the Lady in White. The Lady in White actually a more common occurrence. Uh, there's people have left the hotel due to a terrifying experience with the lady. They woke up at the same time, a couple did, and they saw a, the lady in white hovering over... How creepy would that be, guys? So you wake up in the middle of the night, and there's a lady in white hovering over you. I've had the experience with the, the girl sitting on the edge of my bed staring at me, but, oh my god, imagine it, like, hovering over you, like, looking at you. They left because of that, so... All right, last bit here. So during the day, getting, let's see. Okay, yeah, they, basically they see the lady in white a lot. Now check this out. Here's some of the craziest stuff too. And I'll be, I'll be staying there. I'll be staying there all night. So, so one, one guest of the hotel reported that balls of light were hovering over his bed and then bounced around the room, waking him up. He said that some of them were different colors, like red, yellow, white, and at one point he tried to get up, but something was holding him down. He said it was like electricity running through him without the pain. Now, this isn't the first person who's experienced this. They also report that the TV comes on and off all night. It goes on and off all night, and the heater will get turned on, causing people not to be able to sleep. So, guys, I'll be staying at this hotel, and... I'll have two rooms that I'll be able to be in and out of all night. Plus, I'm going to put the live stream, I'm going to make a separate live stream for while I'm sleeping. So hopefully we can see if anything happens while I'm sleeping. I think if YouTube doesn't detect movement for like eight hours, it cuts the stream, but I only sleep for six. So we'll be able to get the whole thing in, no problem on the live stream. So guys, that's the preview of where I'm going tomorrow. So very excited for that. Now that we've got that all out of the way, let's do a quick session here, see if anything followed me home, uh, and then we'll wrap it up there. Hey. What's up, Deja Loved? Hey. Hey. hey, Amanda. What's up, Kalst? Amanda, your baby will be here in the morning. That's so exciting. All right, so let's get up close here. Did the spirits... I'm reaching out to you. I got the REM pod on, by the way. As soon as I turned it on, by the way, when I was getting ready for the stream, the first thing that came out of the box was Eric. Spirits, I want to know. I have a feeling that maybe the puppy followed me yeah. from Post Town. Yeah. What is he? What is he? Can my dog see the puppy? Do you know? Yeah. I think they can. Spirits, do you know the name of the city I'm going to tomorrow? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Paranormal Playground, they do say my name a lot. I would almost want to do like a name counter no. thing. But at, that was at Post Town. Like, I know they say my name a lot like anywhere, but at Post Town especially. And I think they were trying to get my attention. I don't think they were sure that they had it, but... Man, did they have it. Oh, my God. Oh, I found the part where the puppy runs up on me at Post Town, and 
It's loud noises. I didn't realize the camera picked it up so well. All right, I need to, I feel like I'm not sitting correctly for this for some reason. I'm gonna sit this way. Okay, there we go. Open up to the spirit corner, you know. I know there's at least one person in here with me. Are you able to use the box? And the spirits of Post Town were able to use this really, really well. I was very impressed. Very, very impressed. Hey, brown coat. I don't know if I said hi to you. Hey, Joanne. Are you missing energy? Are you out of energy? Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you what happened last night. Oh, man. So I'll, I'll leave this going, but check this out. So I was sleeping, or I was trying to sleep. I had just gotten in bed. I had just rolled over to, like, go to sleep. I was done making notes and thinking about stuff, so rolled over, and I hear, you know, a loud, like, scrape kind of noise in the room, and I'm like, you know what? I'm ignoring it. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. And so, and I heard it again, even louder or closer. I heard it again, and I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm just gonna keep dozing off. And I eventually got to that point where I was like, you know, like, you know that feeling when you're about to fall asleep, and then all of a sudden, gadoom, like, loud boom on the floor. And so, instead of just like being scared or anything, I just immediately rolled over, like, with the, and pulled the sheet up, like, over, oh, like, oh, I just, blankets flying off and I'm just looking and then but I realized what happened I realized what I reacted to and then I was like oh shit you know because normally if something happens like that I'll just stay still with my eyes wide open like oh my god and keep listening but I guess because I was falling asleep I reacted and so I was like oh shit oh shit but I didn't see nothing I didn't see anything I didn't hear anything after the loud boom and I started looking around and so at first I didn't see anything, and then I noticed my cell phone was on the floor. And not only was it on the floor, but the case, like where the where it meets the charger, it was opened a little bit. It hit the, it hit the floor so hard that the case opened up off of it just a little bit. And I couldn't believe, because there's, there's two pillows that are up against my bed for the dogs to walk on, so they can get on my bed. So it's like a, like a dog ladder. And... When I looked, I had set the phone on those, in the center of those, and they're, they're couch pillows, they're not like regular pillows, so they're like sturdier, they're harder, you know, they're not like regular pillows, but when I looked in the middle of it where the phone was, there was a rectangular indention, like much bigger than the phone, like a little bit bigger than a hand, and when you put like a hand or a foot on it, you see the hand or foot impression. But the indention in the pillow was rectangular. I, like imagine like a tablet. It was like like if you if you push a tablet really hard on a on a couch cushion, and like that kind of indent that it would leave. But it freaked me out because I heard those two noises. It was like they were getting closer, and then that loud boom where something pushed on those pillows, causing my phone to fall off of it with force enough to make the case pop open a little bit. Like it was. It was freaky. It was freaky. Like, I haven't had anything like that happen in my room in, like, a week or two. Like, it's been a little while since any weird stuff's happened in the room. But then again, I've been so tired that I've been falling asleep right away, and I was almost asleep. I was so close. Hey, Carol Ann. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Adrian. All right, guys, so let's see if we can make contact with... I, I was wondering, maybe it was the puppy, like, trying to get up on the bed, and that's the sounds I was hearing, was the puppy trying to jump up there, and then it... But I don't know how that indention would have been made. That's the thing. I tried to make it to where... I tried to simulate that impression in it, but there was nothing I could do to simulate that. Hey, Cheryl. Who knocked my cell phone off last night? I'm not mad, I just want to know who did it. None of us. A woman said none of us. So you know who it was then? Earl. 
reverse. Guys, I have it on full reverse mode, by the way. I'm just going to show that just so it's documented. So full reverse is when you have your mix all the way up, which is this top left knob. Phone doesn't really like to focus on the writing. So mix, and then when you have this all the way over, you see it says R V R S E. Oh well, I can't really see it. But yeah, just showing that it's on full reverse mode. And that bright ass blue light lets you know that it's on. I love this reverse mode, guys, because it makes it makes knowing what's what so much easier. Oh, guys, so at one point last night, they said, or not last night, but at Post Town, they said Chalupa, and they said Chalupa very clearly and plainly, and again, whenever forward words come through, we know sure. it's some type of anomalous message. I thought that was interesting. What spirit's been hanging out in my room? I'm gonna I'm gonna lessen the noise gate on the FM. So the FM box. There's the FM box with the copper crystal antenna, and then there's the AM box. Puppy. She just said puppy. Does the puppy have a name? Guys, I'm always adjusting the shot. Can you please tell me what spirit goes into my room? There's not supposed to be any spirits in my room. You know, guys, I'm going to move the ion box back here by the device. They've asked for help a couple times. Who's asking for help? Hey, Dina. Guys, I haven't heard the name Ed yet, which is odd. Usually we get Ed, like, constantly. Is there an Ed here? Ed, do you know about the spirits who have been in my room? Why do they go in my room at night? Pillow, something pillow. It's funny, we were talking about the pillow. What about the pillow? I I saw something over here.
Spirits, can you see if you can make a connection for Amanda Bruce? Can you let us know if Zach will be there in the morning with her? Will he be there in spirit and energy? Zach, if you can hear me, or spirits, if you can get in. If you can get a hold of Zach, ask will he be there. Tomorrow morning. I'm putting... I think they're trying to make the connection right now. Just let us know. Before you give us the message, say the name Zax. So that way we know it's for Amanda. Okay? Test it? This isn't about testing. What do you what do you want tested? This and then like a number? Hey Michelle. What's up, Matt? Guys, again, I don't feel like I'm sitting in the right position for this. I feel like I need to be turning. Once you've amassed enough energy to speak with us, will you alarm that, that device right there? Just gotta get close to the antenna on it and it'll go off. Do you understand what I'm saying? What's up, big monkey grip? It feels oddly still. It doesn't feel like the energy last night. Do you have a message for anybody? Here, I'm going to make an adjustment on AM. I'm going to speed up the AM. Guys, this antenna is going to make a or an antenna. This tripod is going to make a lot of noise while I'm sitting it down. Apologies in advance. Not too bad. Whoa. Whoa. Is there a bug in here? Did y'all just see a bug right here? Hello? this Solomon symbol up here. I'm going to speed up the AM suite. Alright, 
I've got the AM sped up. I don't normally do that, but let's see if it makes a difference. It's a bug. Okay, cool. Paranormal? Alright, what's going on, guys? Talk to me. The more you... The... I said, Eric, I'm talking. Hello. Blast off. Thank you for coming through. It's getting colder. I can feel it in my feet. It's weird. Maybe just from sitting down. I could be from sitting down. I can tell you're trying to come through more clearly. The more you come through the device, the easier it gets. I promise. Is there just one trick to talk? Yep. Hey, Starry. The more, the more you come through, it seems like, like with Frank and Maxine, the more they came through, it just seemed like it became easy for them to speak through this. Spirits, is there just one way you use to talk to us, or is it like a skill you learn over time? I'm right here, can you hear me? No. No. Whoa. Who's that something? Oh, how the my computer's playing YouTube videos. I guess because I left that one running. Are any of the spirits here familiar with the internet or computers? Have any of y'all ever used a computer? Guys, I'm going to light a candle real quick before the session's over. the red light. There's a dragon crystal thing.
All right, found a fresh candle. It's slightly melted from the, the candle wax melted in my backpack at Post Town. That's how hot it was. There were heat surges, guys. You know how there's cold surges? I'm right here. Where should I put it? Use this candle to light your path to me. Use the sound of my voice to draw you in. Use the sound of my voice to guide you, to protect you. Is there any additional energy source that you could utilize? All right, I'm hitting the vape, guys, so you'll hear that sound. All right, let's try this. Oh, well, you can see Epic in the mirror there. It's kind of cool. Anybody in the room right now? Is there anybody in the room right now? Ooh. Sounds like listen back at the end. There's a male voice there. All right, you know what? Let's do one more. Is it hard to talk through the radios? Is there anything we can do to make it easier? I just want to note before we listen to this, at one point my finger went over the the play button thingy. Is it hard to talk through the radios? Right there, that was it. Whoa! like a noise and then whack your back. Interesting. Okay. So, guys, one thing to notice, the candle's not even flickering or moving around. You know how, like, when it gets real crazy in here, that candle will start going nuts? It's perfectly still. Rim pod's not going off. Very, very odd. Is there something missing for you to speak with us? Oh, I just got chills for some reason. What's up, Anton? Sudden! What do you mean, sudden? Camera. Nervous. Nervous. What? Oh, they're coming through now. What? Thank you. Follow, Thank you. follow my voice. What was sudden? Y'all think I might have said this is Zach?
It might be. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. We'll have to run it through the computer at some point. Whoa! Hello? Is this Zach? Who is it? Alright, spirits, we're gonna have a short time together tonight, so I'm gonna put off as much energy as I can for you to use, okay? If you can hear me, just say hello. Here we go, here we go. I can feel your energy getting closer. Are you scared? There's no need to be distant. I'd love an update from your world. I'd love to know what's going on in your life. I've been researching about more powerful radios. Is there something obvious within the radio spectrum that we're missing? Spirits, are you familiar with Tesla? Spirits, what was Tesla in communication with? Hi. Frank, hi. hi. Terrifying. Tell me, do you know what Tesla was communicating with? Oh! That scared me, fuck. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut out some of the noise, because we're getting a lot of unintelligibles. Adjusted some of the reverb too and lessened it a little bit. Alright, I was closing my eyes and like focusing on the spirits coming in while asking those questions. Hey, Purgatory. What's up, Tammy? Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes and focus again. Focus as hard as you can. There's a there's a woman that's been trying to come through. Is the woman's name Bridget? 
Guys, I'm really curious about the bishops. It's like the Ed Bridget Bishop thing. But I don't think they'd know anything about Tesla, which is something I'm also very interested in. That same dark, deep voice. So I have my eyes closed. Where are you right now? Whoa, did you hear that? It was like a chime beep sound. Are any of the bishops here with me tonight? Sure. What's your first name? Are you in the room? Or are you somewhere else, far away? I've got a catch in my voice right now. I'm trying to be as open and as vulnerable as possible for you. I don't want you to be intimidated or scared. There's no reason to fear me or the people watching, or the technology. Is there any reason you'd be apprehensive about it? I'm sure there's a message that we're supposed to get Are any of you familiar with radio technology? There's movement in the room. I open my eyes, I just open my eyes. My eyes have been closed that whole time. Oh, shit. The door just, uh, made, you know that noise doors make when they like that pop? Oh, man. I need to get, like, a mirror so y'all can see me while doing this. Did someone just come through the door? Angela? Made you look. Made you look. Oh, were you trying to get me to open my eyes? I'm going to slow the AM down a little bit. Hello, Brian. Brian, hey. They just said Brian. Help. Help. Hey, Angie. Thank you all for being here. I just found a spirit box antenna just laying there. It's funny. Can I get you all anything? Besides my soul. Sounds like she said yes. Ma'am, is what, what? Would you be willing what? to introduce yourself to me? Who are you? Hey. 
I'm burning this flame for you. This fire is lit for you all. McLovin, what's up? I don't know if I said hi to you yet. What's up, McLovin? Closer? Whoa, whoa. Dogs just went out back or something. Spirits Brian says hello. It's hell whoa. I'm pretty sure. Brian says he'll help you guys. What are you talking about? Whoa! Whoa! I can hear you. So now that you now that I'm dead, it just said I'm dead. You're not dead yet. You, you can still inter you can still interact with us. Look, I need to know about Tesla. His research is incredibly important for this, and it's all been covered up. We don't know a whole lot. We know he built a super powerful radio, and it worked. Sure. Do you remember? Do you remember anything about that? Do you know anything about Tesla's research into alien communication, spirit communication, or just powerful radio receivers? Whoa. Guys, not only am I going to build that super powerful radio receiver, I'm also going to build a way for spirits to mold words live in real time. Like, this is, this is the foundation, but there's much more that can be built. GLO. GLO? ELO? Extra low... Also, wait, there's some there's some terminology. It's like ELO. Keep going. I can hear you. I... We're working on it. Give me any clues that you can. Hear you. What was the one thing Tesla did different with radios? <laughs> Electric Light Orchestra. Hello. 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 Tell us. It was either hello or tell us. I'm going to turn it up a little more. I'll tell you whatever would help, whatever you need to know in exchange for the same. 
are there can, are there restrictions on what you're allowed to hear or what we're allowed to say to you? Look, I'm 100% certain Tesla discovered something vital to this, and we're missing it. We're, we're damn close, I'm sure. Damn, I only have a couple minutes left. Tesla. Yes, that's who I'm asking about. Can Tesla receive messages from us? If, if Tesla can receive messages, tell him Eric Connor from the year 2017 is attempting to replicate some of his research. Can you tell him that? Yes? I wonder if Tesla's responsible for the advancement in spirit energy into our world, or if he's part of it, because the spirits have definitely learned how to communicate a lot better over the last, like, decade. If there's one place, location, or word, or phrase that you can hint to me or give me an idea of for Tesla's research into radio communication, what would it be? Spirit or something that, that sounded direct. All right, we have to close. We have to close down the session here soon. I feel like we have a direct connection now, though. Before I go, what else can you tell me about this mega powerful radio that he built? Thank you all for working with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Any final message for the people watching? Stop. 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 All right, perfect timing. Thank you all for communicating tonight. I'll be asking more about Tesla in the next few sessions and in private sessions, so spirits be prepared for that. All right, guys. There we go. So the, the Tesla invention I'm referring to, he created this super powerful radio and... I don't know if it could transmit or not. I have a feeling it could, but it definitely could receive signals that he claimed were from beyond this world. Now, the people around him at the time were sure that he was just picking up radio signals from the atmosphere from across the globe. So, either way, he was able to pick up radio signals from super far away, meaning that the device had the capability of consuming a large amount 
of the electromagnetic spectrum and then putting it back out as audio. And I have a feeling that there's something in that that's the missing link to getting the clear communication along with cell phone and walkie-talkie signals. I believe something in those frequencies too have something to do with it because a cell phone will usually stay on the same frequency, walkie-talkies will usually stay on the same frequency, and yet spirits are able to talk over that. So I have a feeling that there's a mix that we need to incorporate between like this setup and an open frequency setup. Working on it. Working on it. There's, it's going to require, it's going to, like, to do the cell phone box that I'm planning on, it's going to require a monthly cost, not just a cost to buy the cell phones, but also a monthly cost to keep the cell phone plans active in order to open up the line, which looked into a couple. There's some that are not too expensive, but around 50 to 70 a month, the cheapest I've found so far to have two phones that are on the prepaid network. Anyway, so I'm researching this as much as possible, and I think Tesla's information is going to play a big role in it, like a huge role. But tomorrow, I probably won't ask too much about the Tesla stuff, maybe once or twice, depending, because the location itself has a lot of historical spirits and historical ghost encounters. So I'm going to be trying to connect with the spirits that are there more so, especially the lady in white. What Guys, I'm so... I'm so hoping that during the stream while I'm sleeping, hopefully we can capture the lady in white or maybe some orbs or something. I'll have to... Loud noise. I'll have to leave like a flashlight on or some dim amount of light so there's at least an image when you look at the video. But I'm excited. I'm very excited to try it. I'm also going to be doing a, a live sleeping stream at the... Uh, 24 hour stream i'm actually i'm pretty sure i'm going to break that up into multiple streams like it'll be the first daytime stream then the first nighttime stream then the 3 a.m stream then the sleeping stream and then the post wake up stream which would close it out so it makes it easier to on youtube it makes it easier to go back and review evidence and footage so probably going to do something like that guys so excited for the weeks ahead Planning some stuff out in late summer, early fall, too. It's getting to the point, guys, where... Like, after Post Town, like, that that amount of evidence and direct contact... I'm just, I'm just pumped, guys, and I'm so happy that you're all here with me. I'm so happy that you're part of the Epic Fam. Thank you for being here. Like, I sincerely mean that. You all make this epic. You make this epic. I could not do this without you. There'd be no way. It wouldn't be possible. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you again for being a part of it. Tomorrow on location, I'll be streaming probably earlier. I'm going to try and stream earlier, a couple hours earlier at least. So be on the lookout for that. I'll post in the Facebook group, Epic Investigates Paranormal on Facebook. I'll post on there, let you know the time frame of going live. But thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Stay tuned and stay epic. Amanda, good luck tomorrow.